We're trying to get the kids to wake up. So we turned on the goofy movie. We turned on our magic porthole. Oh no, Flick got wet. Hi, I'm Kristen. Hey, I'm Scott. Hi, I'm Skyla. And we are the, the Dean, Dean Team. Team. We are on day six of our seven night cruise on the Disney Fantasy. It's been Pixar Day at Sea while we're here. And so we've got Hey Howdy Breakfast with Woody and his friends. And it's a day at sea. And we're just gonna do a lot of fun things today. So what do you think? Are y'all ready for an adventure? Let's, Let's go. go! This breakfast is something we had to book in advance. I think they did it on two different mornings. So if you're doing a specialty cruise like this one is, and they're having special events, make sure that you find out what those are and what you need to sign up for because they did both fill up. First breakfast just isn't enough. You have to go to Vista Cafe and get a croissant. How was the Hey Howdy breakfast? It was amazing. I loved how while you were eating, the characters came out and how the characters sang too. Mm -hmm. they, Not just Woody the, was breaking it down. He was dancing. Yeah. It was so cute. And it was nice because they came out every so often, did a song, and pop back. You don't get to meet the characters, but you do get to dance along with them. Yeah, and the food was great. The Ocean Air Club opens at 9. We just got out of breakfast, so we're looking at Pepe's door, which is right outside the entrance. Call me, okay? Harbor toy. And you said part of this had to do with a this midship detective agency? And this. Oh, so several things on here. The midship detective agency. Yes, yeah. it's one of the like other than the meet and greets and like the um, wilderness explorer the badge pool. thing. <laughs> everything, Just kind of everything. Everything on the ship is my favorite, but I haven't done the Muppets yet. I'm currently doing it. I think it's fun. To yeah, work. Holden did that one. Now it's Skyla's turn. They've been doing them throughout the week. We dropped the kids off at the Ocean Air Club. They really want to do an activity called Lava Flow. They've been looking forward to that one. And Scott and I are going to go do an hour long tour of the ship. So we're going to learn some of the secrets of the Disney fantasy. Back at Paolo. Don't want to leave. We don't want to go. We passed our table. What's I the coolest thing you learned? The Paolo met Pole. 
for all the poles for the gondolas the to tie gondolas. up to. And these are a continuation because those are at Paolo, so this is supposed to be a view into Paolo from Venice. What is this supposed to be? Pasta. Spaghetti and meatballs. Papadelli. We went into Remy. Well, we got to see the doorway into Remy, which we were there last night, and it was the best meal ever. But they showed us that in the portrait of Remy overlooking Paris outside of those restaurants, that the shadow is of Walt and Mickey. That is so cool. He told us there's 22 pieces of enchanted art on the ship, and to create a shadow, they actually put a shadow in the LED screen, like as part of the LED. So it looks like there's actually a shadow on it because there wouldn't be with that bright screen. So they cool. look like real pieces Art. of artwork. We just ended the tour over by the Walt Disney Theater. Just in our tour guide, it was his first ever tour, which was amazing. So we were giving him mad rounds of applause at the end. His dad was an Imagineer and his mom worked for Lucasfilm. So he's a second generation Disney cast member. He did an awesome job. It's so cool to see all the little details that he showed us around the ship. So I highly recommend doing this tour if you haven't yet. And I'm sure it would be a different experience with every single tour guide teaching you different things along the way. I'm so happy we ended here at the theater because Skyla has been looking for a flounder. The whole time we've been on the ship, we could not find one, but he told us that in this rotunda, they have different characters representing the astrological signs and flounder is one of them. Skyla's playing flounder in her Little Mermaid musical at school. So that's why she's been looking for him. I cannot wait to show her this. One of the other things Justin told us was that on ships, lifeboats were typically orange. And so Disney really wanted Mickey colors. So they conducted tests to make sure yellow was as visible as orange. And they were right. So that's why we have the yellow of Mickey shoes. They also told us that they didn't want the bottom of the ship to be black. They wanted it to be blue because they thought it was more inviting, but the Imagineers couldn't find the right blue. Eventually, there was a woman named Monica who worked for Disney Cruise Line and her pants were a certain blue and the Imagineers said, we need that blue. And her name was Monica. So they call the color Monica, Monica blue. blue. She still works for Disney Cruise she Line does, somewhere. Yeah. They said, we wanted to explore every part of the ship. So now we're deck four aft and this is actually the deck where you can use the jogging track. So we're walking around and this is one of the prettiest, like most silent views. There's no glass in front of you, nobody's around. Just how blue and beautiful the water is. On sea days, you can definitely tell the ship's moving even when you're in interior spaces, but it's not bad. You just feel the ship moving. Doesn't bother us, which is good, and doesn't bother the kids, which is the best thing. Venetian masks were made specifically for the fantasy. And this is a piazza, kind of the central hub of a piazza and all the spokes going outwards. Here's the Vespa. And take a ride on it when you sit down and make some sounds. Great photo op. Yeah, for the kids too, because they oh, can yeah. come in yeah, here they during come the day. Out. And they were even doing crafts in here earlier today. setting up for a seminar here in Ooh La La. It's so pretty in here. And we're gonna come back here. Get a to, drink, happy get a hour. Drink. Yeah, look at how like just lush and cozy it everything like is. It does smell like French perfume in here. Some Gaudi Barcelona architecture. And these are the coolest bathrooms, even nicer than the ones by Romy and Paolo. Mosaics everywhere, cool sliding doors, mirrors on the ceiling. They'll leave the light on for you. <laughs> no kidding. We came to O'Gills last night, but we didn't know the full story. And there's actually a book on the wall that's framed that tells you it, but it's a story of a fish and a leprechaun. <laughs> and you just have to read it for yourself. But it's also cool because on the wall, there's a picture of a rugby team and it's actually Disney Imagineers. And when you look closely, you can tell they're not real rugby players. But yeah, it's a cool setup in there. So now we travel to London. So of course the tube being the London Underground and the ceiling lights are the Union Jack. There's the clock at Parliament, the old cast iron phone booths up front and they said, take a look inside. There's concept art from Milani and other details. And last night at the Magician and the game show that they had before, the whole front was completely full yes. and most of the back. I mean, this place was packed like a nightclub. Yeah. It, was, it was a lot of fun. 
case you've had a couple too many, you can hold on like you're really on the tube. Like you're on the tube. And then these and are the tickets from the 70s. so cool. We can't go into Skyline Lounge right now because there's a beverage seminar in progress, like how Scott did his rum tasting before, but we'll show you this later. We just got back to the room and they gave us our breakdown of our tips. To give you an idea of the amount of tips that you would give on a seven night sailing, your server is $133, your assistant server is $105, your head server is $35, and your stateroom host is $133. They do a phenomenal job to make sure that everything's magical. We were just talking to Anne outside who um, has been taking care of our room, and she's just phenomenal, such a sweet person. We've loved all of our servers. And so that is the base of the gratuity, and then you get those envelopes to put cash tip into at the end of the cruise, or I think you can also add it on a card, but we're gonna give cash tip at the end. We've got the drink of the day. A little Mai Tai action. And I'm gonna show you where we are. We're in the adults only area, and it's not really a swim up bar, it's more of a get your feet wet. <laughs> and there's a pool area over here. The drink of the day is only $5.50, but we just asked about the price of some of the other cocktails, and it wasn't bad. It was like $8 for a pina colada, mojito was $10. I asked yesterday for a rum and coke, and the cheaper rum was $8. When you order a drink and they come with your bill, which is just with your key to the world card is how you pay, you do already have an 18% gratuity added on alcoholic drinks but we've still been tipping on top of that. Yeah. Just to be aware that you are adding a grat already. We're leaving the adults only area, heading back into the loud, <laughs> family friendly area. It was so windy up on deck 13, my flip flops were flying away. But it was so nice to just lay with Scott for a little bit, look out at the ocean. We also popped into Cove Cafe to see if they had any different treats that they do at Vista Cafe. It's mostly the same, but it is good to know if you need a little treat that's not from Cabanas or when Cabanas not open because they close at like two. two. Yeah, duck over there around the corner. You still go grab a croissant, Skyla's favorite bread, yep. or a different treat. And we're back in the adults only area because I tried to go pick up the kids from the Oceaneer Club and they said, no thank you. So we're gonna have some more adult only time before lunch. So we're back in Cove Cafe. We're gonna get a special coffee. to drink. Look who we got! Sully and Mike. That is awesome. I thought it was going to be one of those things where they put an outline and like put the, you know, cocoa or sugar over it or something. It was just going to be an outline. No, a it's silhouette. awesome. Yeah. That is worth every bit of five fifty. Okay, I get why people come here. This is the next level of the coffee that you can get right outside on deck 11. It's delicious. And we got the salted caramel coconut latte. Really good. And if you stay in the place, you get it in a nice mug, or you can take it to go, but they put it in a foam for the pool deck. They have a card where it's like a loyalty card, so if you order five, you get your next one free. It's gonna do it again. <laughs> Be another one? I don't know. It's pretty loud up here. It's so cool. It's probably is. Okay, that was amazing. We just got a notification in the app that Skyla wants picked up, so that's one good thing to know. If your kids don't have phones, if you don't have Wi-Fi, then the Navigator app still works, where we can chat with each other, and the team who's with the kids can message us and say they're ready to be picked up. So I think Skyla's hungry for lunch. Probably. So we're gonna go grab them. There's a dance party in the atrium, so we're gonna check that out.
could have done cabanas or they also have lunch sit down style at Royal Court. We did do the sit down breakfast here at Royal Court yesterday and it was awesome. So now we're gonna do it for lunch and it's included. So you just choose if you want the quick grab and go at cabanas or you want more of this table service. And we think this is really nice. Here's the lunch menu, a couple different soups and salads. The desserts all look really good. For the small plates, we've got shrimp wontons, meatballs, salmon tartare. I think we're gonna get one of these chef recommendations for lunch. And then one of these burgers also sounds really good. And then the kids menu has the things you can get upstairs, pizza, chicken tenders. Today is also meatloaf. I love how when I ask the kids what they did at the kids club at Oceaneer Club, they're like, oh, we played, we made some crafts. And then later they're like, oh, we had a dance party with Pluto and Goofy. And then, oh, we had a magic show. Oh, we did a volcano experiment and played Gaga Ball and all the things they forgot to tell me. So they're doing a ton of stuff during the day. They were there for, I think, three to four hours this morning and they did a lot. Was it fun? Yeah, we when we did the volcano, um, so we named our volcano Mount Doom. It was 9,999,999 years old. Its habitat was the jungle, and it shot lava that evaporated. So our professor that um, helped us make everything, her, her name was Dr. make Dr. make a -mess. Scott got the meatball starter. I got the wontons. Honestly, I'm not impressed. They don't seem like homemade meatballs. Oh, okay. Just kind of a frozen also, meatball. you ate at Remy last night. True. I'm good. No, Skyler got some right. pizza with some Mickey Mouse ketchup. I think you've had pizza every day. This Korean burger looks so good. And then this is the... Beef short rib with mashed potatoes and carrots. Burgers are amazing. I don't know if they have them all the time, but come down here and get a real patty, half pound, well cooked burger. So good. We got the Korean one with kimchi and onions and stuff on it. It's amazing. We've also got a classic, just a regular cheeseburger, and then they've got an impossible burger on the menu too. It's milk chocolate. Pecan cheesecake. Oh. How cute is it? We all got the banana split. Yeah. Princess Minnie! Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. All right, now we gotta run over. Magic show started. Ah! All I'm gonna tell you is flounders in this room. Look up. What did you think? <laughs> Mind blown? And I and saw you all one love words, AGT. We've Dan actually Penn seen my AGT. Fool, is it called Fool Us? Yeah. yeah. The best part of the show was a little boy named Riker who was up on stage making sure that he was not running any tricks on us, that it was all yeah, he real was like magic. Staring him down. First he said, I know how you did it. He yelled, I know how you did it. And he mm -hmm. said, oh. Yeah, he's like, come so, on up here. So Riker went. <laughs> And then as soon as he did the card trick, Riker ran behind the table to make sure that there was no cards out there. <laughs> it was, he was hilarious. It was the best. So you have a story book here. So you find in the most important spot in the yeah. middle. It, right in the yes. middle between, between the villains. Me. Now, yes. I, I see you saw a Captain Hook and Mistress me. You didn't join your pirate crew, did you? What were you searching for? Um, lost painting and Lover stole the shell from her. Lost paintings? I'm also working for Lost Puppies. Oh, and lost puppies. Yeah. Oh my goodness. One time my friend Wendy's dog Nana flew away with the help of Tinkle Bell's pixie dust <laughs> because she thinks so many happy thoughts. Now, do you think the puppies flew away because of pixie dust or did someone actually steal them? Someone stole them. Someone stole them? Who do you think it was? Yzma. You think it was Yzma? Wow. Well, maybe you could come to Neverland and tell me the story of your adventure searching for the puppies to my lost boy sometime soon. What do you think? Yeah, and maybe we could search Captain Hood's pirate ship to see if they're there, as well as the paintings too. What do you think? Yeah? And she has a question for you. Okay. Three questions. Do you know how old you are? Well, not really, because in Neverland you never have to grow up, and I've been in Neverland a pretty long time. You said what would be the oh, first thing you would do? what would be do? the first thing I should do if I got to Neverland? Ooh, um, 
play a game of following the leader of my Lost Boys, I think. That would That's be fun. That's my favorite game to play. Do you know any games we could teach to them? Um, statues. Ooh, okay. Well, maybe we could teach that to them, too. Is he a type? No, of course not. <laughs> He's a pirate, and he likes to go on lots of adventures and sing lots of pirate songs, too. And I think he thinks lots of happy thoughts. Skyla and I got to meet Peter Pan. I also met Donald. Oh, that yeah, you ran up and went and saw Donald and got his autograph. We met Peter Pan at 345. Stitch was coming out at 415. It is now 515, so I waited over an hour to meet Stitch, but it was so worth it. Their best friend, Aubrey, loves Stitch, and so we had Stitch hold up this sign for Aubrey and got a picture, but it was so nice to meet Stitch. I guess Stitch has a lot of fans. They need yeah. to bring him out more. They do need to bring him out more. He was only out on Pirate Night that I saw, and then this day at sea just one time. That's the only time on the whole cruise that I've seen a character have the line wrapped around that side of the ship. We thought that they were gonna get to meet Doctor Strange in the Oceaneer Club. A guy who does all the shows for the Oceaneer Lab and club came out, um, told you your stance position and how you should open a portal. We opened to two different places, but then the villain came through and we had to like close the magic portal. But so you didn't actually get to see Doctor Strange. At the end, they told us like to go into the hero's room if you wanted to continue your training. But now we're all getting fancy and ready for our semi-formal night. We're gonna be eating at Animator's Palette tonight and it's the Frozen show. So Scott is downstairs waiting to get into Frozen because we've heard people get in line up to an hour before the show starts. For Aladdin, it was packed. For the magician today, it was packed. So we want to get a good seat for Frozen. Who was your favorite character? Olaf. Oh, oh you got some set for the show. Is it in your shoes? Olaf was amazing. Yeah. They all had such awesome voices. A happy snowman. <laughs> Frozen the musical was incredible. It was like a mm -hmm. Broadway level show. Aladdin was so good too, but this one was next level. I don't know if it's because we had better seats. Bless Scott. Maybe. He went and waited for an hour. I got hour. there an hour early. I asked the day before what time the doors open and they said 15 minutes before. Mm -hmm. So I told the family to be there at 20 till so we could all go in together and I wasn't saving seats because on the app it says don't, you can't save seats for anybody. But Even though course, we've seen people do Everybody that. does it. Yeah. At 5.30, doors opened. People of course piling in. At about quarter till you could find decent seats but maybe off to the side, mm -hmm. but like, 10 or 5 till, it was almost completely full. You know, get their doors open time at least. Unless you want it like front or second row, which we waited for early. Holden passed out mm -hmm. midway through the show. We tried to wake him up. Ivan did the... <laughs> he was like a marionette. He was I was that. awake for 50% of the show. He okay. was awake for 15% of the show. 50! <laughs> but Skyla just kept saying, this is amazing. The projections, the quick change with the costumes, reveal of the costumes and everything. The voices, it was phenomenal. What a great hour. Good job, Disney. Way to go. Are you ready for this, Skyla? Yep. <clears throat> How many are we going to know? Nine and a half out of ten. Okay, let's see. I see B, C's, B's, 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 B's and A there, B, B. All right, the correct answer is in fact B. for four contestants to move on to our next round. Who is the main villain in the Infinity War? You're gonna write down your answers, and once again, you're gonna hold that close <laughs> to your face. chest. Don't reveal it just yet. Yeah. All right. Thanos, 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 Ultron. <gasps> Roll is the correct answer. So, yes, Skyla! Did we have four scrolls? These four are moving on to our next round. Yes! yes! In Iron Man 2, where does the Grand Prix take place in which Tony Stark participates? Green Saber here? Excellent lipstick. <laughs> Monaco is correct, yes! What team included Thor, the Hulk, Giant Man, the Wasp, and Iron Man as the founding members? What is the name of the amulet Doctor Strange wears around his neck? Oof. On the end. On the end? The Eye of Agamotto. Eye of Agamotto yeah. is correct! We yeah. have our you next contestant moving on. It. We're heading into Animator's Palette. I'm really excited because last time we were getting here, we were rushing because it was formal night and we were getting all of our photos. This evening we're here early, so we'll get to be here for the whole experience. And tonight is semi-formal night, so we got to get a little bit fancy again. Holden had to wear a bow tie and he was not thrilled. He did it for photos, so that was a win.
making our drawings that are going to show up on the screen. So I can't wait to see them. Hopefully we'll spot them. That is gorgeous. That's I know. like, that's MoMA quality right there. Um, well, MoMA quality, not Disney quality. <laughs> also, we noticed that when we were here earlier for the Hey Howdy breakfast, mm -hmm. the things on the shelves were different. Like they were all Pixar things and they've changed up what's on the shelves. So that's pretty oh, yeah. amazing. Mine is ready to go. Right, you ready? It's about there. I was going to put a camera in his hand that he's looking at. Oh, nice. I drew Skyla. You drew Skyla for yours? With those shoelaces untied. <laughs> Always untied shoelaces. This is the menu for tonight. I think we're trying everything except for the tuna sashimi. We're also going to get some salad and soup. This was a hard choice tonight, but we're going to get the rack of lamb and the beef wellington. And then they also have, of course, your vegetarian options and your lighter bites. Who's on your menu tonight? Brave. porcini and we already ate the chicken satay it was amazing here's my caprese holden's eating everything vegetables are being consumed high five i got the wedge scott got the lobster soup even though joel said don't do it he was right i got the beef wellington and skyla got the schnitzel scott got some lamb Ooh. chocolate decadence and it says for real chocolate lovers so challenge accepted we're gonna try most of these I think this was Joelle's recommendation and then Holden asked for cherries all right this magic especially for my friends a fun magic color watch carefully okay what do you see there I want you to see the magic was abracadabra okay one two three abracadabra blow on it 
Ooh. Watch, look. Abracadabra, magic genie. Can you draw on the blank pages? Ready? Wow! <laughs> Abracadabra, hocus pocus. All the three girls blow on this. Magic genie, can you please color the drawings? Because it's dark in here. It's a light up menu. It looks like the underground. That's fun. So we're gonna we're do gonna the get... mind the gap. <laughs> mind the gap. What is it? Um, Crown, Drambuie, and Coke. Oh, we're the same one. We're the same one. In the comments, if you know what we're listening to. Asparagus and prosciutto on sun dried tomato. But then they also just have bagel bites and mini beef sliders with no bread. We got some pixie dust. What is it? Ooh, Pixar fruit snacks. That's the best. We got Uno. Uno. Thank you for the pixie dust. Here's something for you. The Beach family. Thank you. After dinner, we went to the photo booth area where you can take your pictures in front of all the backdrops. We've been doing that every evening because we got the unlimited photo pass. So we are getting every photo that we can. We've taken how many, Scott? About more than 400. More than 400 pictures during this cruise so far. And then the kids went back to the Oceaneer Club and Scott and I went and met up with our friends, Alex and Justin, that we made on this cruise and they're awesome. And we had a ring of bubbles at Oh La La and it was lovely. And then we went to the tube and they were having a silent dance party. It was the first time I've ever done one of those. Very fun. So we checked that out, picked up the kids and now it's time for bed. We cannot believe tomorrow is our last full day. We're going to Castaway Key been dreaming about this gorgeous island for forever. We're so excited. Thanks for coming along with us on this cruise. We'll see you soon. We're listening to Tangled Music and these came out. How do they know? It's so magical. It's a sensor, I think. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, keep adventuring! <laughs>